So, when you see someone down, they don't have the strength to hear one word. They are so twisted up. They are so buried in depression. They're so buried in abuse. They're below the mark. They don't have what they need. They didn't get what they're supposed to have passed down. They didn't get it, even the natural. They're suffering. They're hanging on by their fingernails. And if you say one wrong word, they might take their own life. That's how serious sometimes it gets. Don't say it's not true. It's an epidemic. So we got to be careful how we talk. Make sure it's led by the Spirit because the right word can come out and bring a hope to them. God's like, yo, over there, I want to preach repentance on this tree. says, don't talk about that right now. Just talk believe because there's someone out there who needs to hear believe. They might have a sword against their chest and saying, that's it, I'm dead. I'm gone. I'm below the mark. Don't, 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 don't correct him right now. God will get to him later. Right now, just believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Drops the sword. He could be someone up on the cross about ready to die. What must I do to be saved? Remember me. And then Christ might just show eternity shining out of his eyes to show this man, today thou will be with me in paradise. Because he was down as low as you could go, he certainly didn't have what he needed. He was afflicted. Come on. It's a different word for different folks. Sometimes it's to comfort those who are down. And sometimes it's to rebuke those who are up. Those who are up need correction to say, start using your strength to help those people in need. There are people far lower than you could ever imagine. Your worst day is like their best day on their own life. One of my jobs I used to have for a couple of years, I used to be Chuck E. Cheese. I used to walk around in that mouse suit and I was a crazy guy and they loved me because I, I made that thing look energetic. They thought it was great. I was not embarrassed at all. I loved it. I used to sit there with little kids. Chucky, I love you, Chucky. Sometimes I got to talk to people who were very, very hurting. And I just about broke my heart. And when a mentally retarded man put his arm around me and kept saying, Chucky, I really love you, Chucky. My life is a real bummer. Nobody likes Chucky. And I'm over here just like trying to keep from crying my eyes out. And I was like, oh, Chucky, life is a real bummer. And I was just like, oh my gosh, please. It's like, I wish I could do something. I was just in my heart just melting for this guy. Compassion galore. Surely you're not going to come over there and club him over the head with no compassion. <laughs> There's no logic in that at all. Well, the Bible says this, the Bible says that. But don't you know the letter killeth and the Spirit gives life. This man needs life. He needs the hope of glory to dwell in his heart and feel the truth and the reality of Christ again, or if, if at all. He's in desperate need right now. He's below the mark substantially. There's people on this earth that are hurting. They've never had any glimmer of hope at all. They've never been touched when they were babies. They've never had any type of encouragement, only be only belittling by their parents growing up if they had any parents at all. Abuse is not rare, it's normal. They are people who've not had a fair shake like we have, had fairly healthy families sometimes as some of us have. You hearing me? Mm -hmm. Some of us have had something, they might look a little rough around the edges, but I'm telling you, compared to some, it's paradise. They would do anything to have their, their dad give them a whack across the tail. They say, at least I know that they're there, at least they know I'm here. It's the parents that ignore you like they don't care at all. It does something to the kids. They feel it. They take it for them the rest of their life. And their whole world is formed around their reality as they grew up. Because they didn't get what they needed. They're afflicted. They put on all kinds of different strengths. Armor that it looks absolutely foolish. They dress up like a gangster. They walk down the street like they're going to kill somebody. But guess what? There once was a little baby crying out for help. I needed somebody and no one loved me. No one was there to show me any compassion. There was no glimmer of light even in the natural at all. And I turned into a living devil. Don't try to hurt me. I'll hurt you back. Put another mask on. Don't try to hurt me. Don't you know who I am? I'm tougher than you. They start lifting weights, trying to get stronger and stronger so no one could ever hurt me. See those reality shows or whatever and those people who've been talked too bad when they were growing up? Even young women. There's one woman in there, she was so skinny when she grew up, when she was small, that everybody made fun of her. And so it was hurt her so bad that she spent her lifetime in the gym, working out hours and hours and hours, where she could literally squat a thousand pounds. Talk about abuse. 
They might look strong on the outside, but inside they're saying, when I was young, nobody cared. Does anybody care now? I don't believe they, I don't believe they do, so I'm going to leave my armor on. I'll never take it off again, because every time I do, I get hurt again. They're afflicted. They need somebody to show them light. Hallelujah. And he happens to be the light. And all those who follow Jesus are the light of the world. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. amen. He wants to bring hope to those that are hopeless. He wants to be a friend to those who've never known any friendship at all, except for people who wanted to manipulate them. They act so nice until they got what they want, and then they're high trick, they're high tailing away. They know that one. Any form of light, they take it, because that's all they know. Come on. Is the word making any sense tonight? Yes. Come on. I could never picture someone telling somebody in a, a wheelchair to run. Can't you just stand up and run like me? No, I'm, I'm a little disabled right now. There's other people who are emotionally disabled. They don't even know the meaning of marriage. I knew a girl that said, I want to, my first husband's going to be like this, my second husband's going to be like this. And I said, are you kidding me? Certain races, I'm talking, it's happened to them. It's just be poured down. Turn off your emotions. They don't need to be there. Don't desire what God made you to desire. God has a way to reach them all. Amen. Yes. Are we here? Yes. Come on. Maybe it wasn't passed down to us, but did you know we can go right back to the source? Come on. We can go right back to the source, and it's coming back. I mean, that's that's the reason why for we, we aren't doing things the way a lot of people are doing them, because I got mine straight from the source, amen. And I listen to those who got there from the source, so we don't have to wonder. He's putting the pieces back together in this place, I know that. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Precious Jesus, blessed Jesus, we love you. And we thank you for your word. We thank you for the word of the Lord. Thank you for kingdom reality, Lord. We thank you that there's worship in this place, Lord. I pray that everybody who sees what we're doing tonight, Lord God, would be touched by you, what you're doing tonight, Lord. It doesn't matter what we're doing. It only matters what you're doing, Lord God, and it is evident in this place, Lord. Touch them all, Lord God, where they are. You know, hallelujah. You know what mask, you know what hurt, you know what challenge, Lord. And we have all kinds of ideas that look like letters that kill, but you are the spirit that gives life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And may we be like that church in Philadelphia, Lord, to bring back those that knew you and not feel so much shame in that light that they try to kill the truth. But they are won by the truth. They are won by He who is the way and the truth. Hallelujah. Bring revival among thy people that are seeking your face, Lord. And win the city, Lord. Help us to win the city, Lord, by your spirit, Lord, your call. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ruin our plans, Lord. And make yours evident. And set up your kingdom, Lord, in our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.